All right. What we're going to do is go through the steps. If you don't have e analyzer, where you can just plug in your data logs and you know, let it do, do its job for you, you actually have to do it the hard way like I do it. And this is, once again, this is using someone else's tweaker. They're sending me the data log, so I'm not very <clears throat> not very up on the tweaker and the Cal edit, so the only way I can get it into the Microsoft Excel format that I need is using the Eek Analyzer. So I just open up his data log that he sent me in the tweaker format. I'm going to export it. be getting logged but still trying to figure out how to work with the tweaker and tell it what to log and what not to log since he hasn't messed with it very much so we'll take what we can now what I'll do is go through here and look for wide open throttle which starts right here so Make it easy. I highlight those cells. Then I am going to select the load X and the load, and also the RPM. Then I'm going to put them into another sheet. This is where, this is the initial opening of the file, so we'll get rid of that one right there. Then what we're going to do is go into data and we are going to filter out duplicates. And I'm also going to sort it by RPM, smallest to largest, so it's in order. We're going to take that and the load X and then we're going to put a chart in there chart <clears throat> I went load got our chart now now we need to get the load so we're gonna add a load and go select the RPM and the load Okay, now what we're going to need, actually I already have it here, so I'm going to copy it from here. Uh, I think, I thought I had it here. And I do. This is what's already in the heat right now. It's being called out, so we're going to plug that over here. gonna go put that on also. So we're gonna add, I'm gonna say eek. I go need the RPM and we need the load call out. It's good. Reformat this. We don't need it to go all the way up to 16,000 or 18,000. one while we're at it too. Okay, so that's what we got. It looks really good. It looks very, very good. The green line is what's in the computer. That's what we're telling the ECM that the engine is capable of at each particular RPM. The red is what the EEC is recording as what it is doing. So as you can see, we're laying, we're laying over that pretty good. This is what it's calculating. It uses this, and the, it uses the green line that you put in 
and what it actually records to come up with this. This is what's your calculated low. So we want this at wide open throttle, we want this to hang right over that 100, just like it is right there. Now, this is the second um, tune. Initially, I emailed him a tune without any date or anything, just no one set up. And what we got on that one was this, which you can see blue line is way, way down below. It's only seeing like 92. Oh, and it's all over the place. And that was because the load scaling, we were, I was being told that it was capable of this much, and it wasn't. So it was way, way under shooting. So now we're here. It's golden. So where do you make these changes? Here's what we got here. This is all the same RPM and load callouts that you would see in your calibration. So uh, on Cal Edit, it's sea level load scaling. So I guess what we could say is, um, well, actually we can look at this one. Say here. Well, here's the points. So say here was it 21 or 2200 or whatever. We were only seeing 92%. So we're eight off. So we need to bring this from what looks like it was 80. We need to bring that down eight. So now we need to bring that down to 72. So it's basically you're grading on a curve. So now what you do when you're making those changes is here's where you make them. Here's your RPM. Here's what you're telling it. Now notice in CalEdit, it, it uses it, it moves the decimal two places. In binary editor, it's actually 85.5%. Here it's 0.855. Let's see if I can actually find that real quick. Mm, scaling. I think it's actually airflow. Uh, load scaling. You know, it's called out 87.77. Then mine actually, this is mine, it actually does 105, 105 workout. But mine. No. That's what you want to see. You want to see that hovering right along that 100%. That way you know the eek is looking up the right cells to pull your spark. To give you the right spark for what you're under. And it also messes with your fuel ratio. That's it.